Good evening and welcome to Songerfest. You know, uh, Songerfest, I'm sure all of you know, is simply translated as a singer's festival. And earlier today, matter of fact, it was this afternoon, I think, personally, that that festive atmosphere got, was established very quickly when Lauren, the host chorus, sang a song called Songer Hilson, which most of you know, it's the singer's greeting. And we sang that to our brother singer, singers, and it felt awfully good up here singing. I don't know what it felt like in the audience, but I suspect you were pretty happy about it. And uh, most of us, if not all of us, stayed for the rehearsal. And there's no doubt in my mind that that festive at atmosphere that we enjoyed really blossomed when we had over, and I got to check, 230 men from five Midwestern states, the state of Washington, and the great country of Norway. So it was a wonderful experience. And they, we all joined voices, as of course we do, and we rehearsed as one. It's always a thrill, and it was a special one today. Now, that atmosphere, we believe, we know, is going to be with us the next couple of days, and it's going to come to a climax Saturday evening. I hope you all are here. If you have never attended a grand concert, don't miss it, because it's all of our singers, all of our directors, all of our musicians, along with uh, an orchestra and featured audiences. But I want to remind you that the Parade, of course, is a bit different event. Uh, but it's very special because it's really our event. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a family event. And if you will, uh, it's a chance for our individual choruses to uh, strut a bit, if you will, uh, show our stuff, but most of all, to simply enjoy song and camaraderie amongst ourselves and with those people that we know the best and came with us and folks that are here to hear, to hear this program tonight. All in what I want to set the tone in an informal atmosphere just like a family gathering. We have three goals for tonight. They're all pretty simple. 13 choruses are each going to sing two songs. We're going to take time to honor some fellow singers who have supported Songerfest down through the years. And one final goal, it's very simple, that's for everyone. And we mean everyone, even way up there in the rafters, to just simply have a wonderful time. So I hope you will take that to heart. One thing you should know, the audience is a part of our parade drill, if you will, for the, tonight. So you're going to need some instructions. I hate to do this, but you really need some instructions. Number one, this is a tough one, relax. Get in the mood, grab a festive hold on the evening as best you can. And two, which is important for some of us guys, share your enthusiasm. That we would love a great deal. And I thought about this and I realized that if you people do your part, I can make a promise that even our most, and we have one or two, stern-faced singers are at least going to be tempted to smile. <laughs> and wouldn't that be wonderful? <laughs> so many of us tonight, and then I'm, I'm ready to close, many of us tonight are, will be attending, if you have your tickets, uh, an event called an afterglow. If you don't know what it is, it's a very simple thing, it's a party but I've got to make an announcement about that party. We'll go to it later tonight, physically. It begins now. So remember that, it begins now. We are very, very, very happy to have you here helping us celebrate our 150th year. Thank you for coming. Now, now uh, we have some three introduc or some introductions to make. First of all, our three hostesses, what a treat. They're all from Spring Grove, Minnesota. Uh, Rachel Storley, you can stand, Rachel. And by the way, she will be a featured soloist Saturday evening. And over here, escorting choruses, Stina Myra, or Mira, however you pronounce it, and Vivian Kampshore. Thank you, ladies. You may go back out to your duties. Uh, now, we have three NSAA officers that are going to be presenting these Songerfest awards. President Roger Burr, please stand, Roger. Uh, Richard Leake, Recording Secretary, and Donald Burr, who's 
who you've been working with on assembling this list of awardees. It's now uh, my honor to introduce the honorary counsel for uh, Quentin R. Boinken of the Royal Norwegian Consulate for the State of Iowa. And by the way, Inez Boinken, his wife, welcome to both of you. Uh, can we welcome them both? Uh,